testimony. It's, it's holy shit, really. It is. Okay. So, let's start with this. Have you ever seen this song? It's called Beautiful People. I'm on the beautiful room. Greatest hit. Her name is Melanie. The song is, look what they've done to my song, Ma. My testimony is about my daughter. She calls me Ma. The Lord saved us both. She was under two. I was saved um, the last Sunday of January 1994. And she was born the 20th of May, the year before that, at 5.55. If you listen to the words of the song, it doesn't say in every line, look what they did to my song. It says, look what they did to my soul. Soul. Look what they did to my brain. You'll see that I've had to add to part two of my last upload because the Lord clearly showed me Pablo through YouTube recommendations. So I sat through this psychologist lecture when I was a teacher and you'll see that my testimony is about the PowerPoint, which is basically when I learned how to use PowerPoint when I was training to be a teacher. Child development. We look at Pablo. Well, that's what the Lord had spoken to me about before all this. I was thinking about Pablo. Look, I tell you why I was thinking about Pablo. Because when I got my little pile of notes, because of the rats and the mice which I've just killed two mice. I saw this. And that's my wee list of things that I've hoarded. Prepped. The food. <laughs> Probably out of date, because I've been going into it. The dated. This is a folder. Um, okay, it's project management, 2016. I've got five degrees, guys. Primary, early childhood, Montessori, fine arts, construction management, and uh, high level seven project management. So this is my old notes. And uh, I knew it was... I hadn't read it. But it reminded me, because I thought, is it my teacher's college? But I think it's my project management. But I thought about that Pavlo, operate conditioning. And you'll see that my testimony about RAT, the anagram, is on a piece of paper. And I showed you the date. And there's the dream. Brian's oldest, or one of his daughters, was um, a mistake. A misdemeanor in the blimmin' hospital. Didn't get enough oxygen. She's brain damaged. She's in one of these homes, these houses. So that's why he's got this. And I, I, watched, I read it, every inch of this. Candy floss, I googled it. It's got to be the sweetest thing and then the other resident in one of those flats had beer at the wild foods festival they have unusual foods there like grubs and possum and stuff to eat but they just went for the traditional candy floss which is an american i looked up the history sweetest thing you know it comes from china they have a candy floss and guess what it's called dragon And bitter beer. Sweet. Woe to those who bring, who use bitter, uh, sweet for bitter. But who give bitter for sweet. You know it. So anyway, there's a poem. And I knew that morning, yesterday morning, that the Lord had a poem for me. 
So one of the residents talks about his poetry, and there's his poem. It is beautiful. Please screenshot it and read it, but I have to keep moving on here. It is beautiful. And it even has the word beautiful mind. Now, you know the movie Beautiful Mind, don't you? Exquisite. You know Born Identity. So think born identity and beautiful mind. Think about minds and the Cold War Russian Nazi experiments. And then think of the link that I just put on the previous post. The Lord led me to the pa Pavlo operant conditioning. Now it's all based. It's totally based around Pavlo's experiments with dogs. So watch it right through because the Lord is speaking about dogs in my testimony. Because dog is God backwards. This song I'm playing and that's why I'm using my pink camera so I can play it when I take you outside to share this testimony. Okay, we're going to go for a wee walk outside. So listen to the words, but I'll get a codex so you'll have to Google it. I'll link it. It's creepy. Look what done to my this is what's happened to my daughter. She's been MK ultra by my husband who hunted us. First husband. The trauma that he put her through. You have to listen to the words of that. So anyway, <clears throat> every day I commit to the Lord and he gives me instructions how to build this. So he's already shown me. I had a vision. I've got those. I put them on a top plate with a hard nail. I hang them over this empty space. And I put my formwork around it. Stay here, yellow. Stay. Okay, so... Yeah, Hunter. So, they are the instructions. Taking the wall down, he's talked to me about the door. He keeps changing where the way I'm going to hang it. Right? <laughs> so I'm bringing my tools out. This is a beautiful room. This is where you need to prepare this room. This is where you go when the shit hits the fan. Because if you look at Pavlo and how they brainwash, they isolate. I've not been, my testimony, lonely in the last four years that I've been here. And I've been on my own. Never felt loneliness. So you need the Lord. Because otherwise, the isolation of what they're doing, you've got to think about social media. You need to think about the army that's here now and realise that, well, we all know that propaganda is, we're well and truly into it. So I, and we're talking MK Ultra. What is the symbol? Now, look at that. It wasn't even moving. It's only just started moving. It's like a miracle. I knew it wasn't dead, but that is, I know what a monarch butterfly caterpillar is. It fell out of my hammer bag. I swear. Now, when I was a kid, we had swan plants, which they love. And I spent a long time looking at them and patting them. Caterpillars. We don't get them here. Funny thing is, Graham mentioned monarch butterflies he said he saw some it's so late it's almost winter someone must have some swan plants around his house so that's my testimony I don't want to hold you up um, 
I want to link Clex's YouTube video. Please watch it. But just go. He rambles. Go halfway in and then watch. He, the best thing, my favourite part of his testimony is this bird. It's called the Roma, Rainbow Bunting. And he nursed it, and his friend and him nursed it, and the Lord told him to release it. And he swore, it, he was worried because it was too early because the bird just dropped to the ground. And they never took their eyes off it, and it disappeared. And he said that it was like, it was beautiful the way he shared it. You have to listen to him share that testimony. I hope that's focusing because they are gorgeous creatures. He said, is it focusing? He said they never took their eyes off it and it disappeared and it was like someone had gone cut, ran in, grabbed the bird, tacked him away and then action. Well the Lord's taken me full circle with that because of a man called Buster Keaton. He's a silent movie actor. Oh, I've dropped him. There he goes. We probably should let him go anyway. He's a silent movie character. And it's exactly what he did. It was like magic. He's the beginning of... The, well, I see him in Jim Carrey's style. It's like improv. improv. It, it's all to do with the images. The frame. The way they frame it. Well, the reason why I locked up Buster Keaton was because, and I know everyone says don't get distracted, but if the Lord sends you somewhere, go. Johnny Depp and how he went into a door, and uh, he lied, of course, and he's he's a beaten man by the female rival, the hunter. That's what happened to Clegg. He was beaten. He didn't hit back. I understand it woman abusing men I have a heart for that I knew that I had a heart and a ministry in that area 20 years ago and it's an unusual thing for a woman to have it's so sad the trauma and abuse it's the MK Ultra it's the butterfly it's time's up Mariah Carey the Lord said that to me when he wrapped this thing up. I don't like her. I looked her up. She's a butterfly, right? And beautiful links directly to it because one of Fire's pups was born. <coughs> and one of the people who watched the page said her back markings look like a butterfly. So we called her Butterfly. And then, even though they're oblivious to my, some would say, out there beliefs, I said, yeah, but butterflies aren't beautiful. Have you seen them? They're the most effing ugly creatures you'd ever see. We aren't butterflies and we don't transform like that. They do. So, you will be isolated without the Holy Spirit. My sister rang me up last night, or while we talked. Um, my brother has had a, a baby. He's a great-grandfather now. His his daughter's had a baby. He, he didn't tell either of us. We don't even know if it's a girl or a boy. He just forwarded to my sister, and my sister only just told me. Picture off Facebook that his daughter put up and the child's name is Isla Wren like that common bird the wren but the Lord was speaking to me about my brother Scott he's in Australia and he hardly ever communicates and he's never come back 
because well, there was trauma in our household, like most people who um, are sheep, because they're hunted from birth. Alcoholism it wasn't, my mother's depression, as she was molested, so she was nasty, nasty, uh, cursing, um, cruel woman. Love her. God said she loves me. But he told me I didn't have a father. He wiped my dad. That he was my dad. My, the Holy Spirit told me that. Of course, the Lord is my father. I'm adopted back in. Now, you know why we adopted, don't you? Because we are born and Satan is our father here. Just like Jesus said, dummy. So we need to be adopted back in so just use your common sense and go literally by what the Jesus says and forget about what you heard in the pulpit Jonathan Click will help you with that I'm not pretending to be a teacher but I am a prophet and I am an angel to the church the one that left its first love yeah there's more than one angel and there is a slight rebuke coming Jonathan Click's way he doesn't have the monopoly on hearing God. But that is no, in no way me speaking against a prophet because you are cursed for that. You will come under a curse. I've seen it. So the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. So my brother, he couldn't speak. He was going, uh, 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 until he was four or five. Which now that I've had done child development, I know there was something wrong. My sister and I used to understand him and speak for him. And he sucked his thumb. And the Lord reminded me that I bit my fingernails. And I got some special nail polish that made my fingernails taste disgusting. My mum bought it. She put it on my nails. And this is why, this is an example of how if you're the one that the Lord's chosen to turn up first in the family, there incredibly, by some miracle, are more in my family who get turned up. But my sister is damned. My brother in Australia is not. Neither my brother who passed away, nor my mother nor my daughter Amy, nor Emily, and nor Joshua. Now how do I know that? Because the Lord told me. I don't look at the natural. In the natural, it doesn't look good, but I look through the eyes of the Spirit. So what I'm saying is my wee brother went, uh, uh, oh, 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 and he sucked his thumb. I bit my nails. I decided... To put the nail polish on my brother's thumb when he was sleeping. I thought it was fair and just since I had to break my habit. But oh no, boy did I get growled at and probably got a hiding for it. I don't know, but it was of course always far more severe than the actual crime. Because no, it wasn't. It was okay for me to have it bitter on my nails, but not job, not Scott. It's you're nobody's favourite in this world except the Lord's, and I'm adorable to Him. <laughs> I've never been lonely, so they can't MK Ultra me. I am a free man. And the communists will not enslave me. And that's why you need to remember what I testified about running into the bush. When they get you and they set you, like the Lord said before, judges and magistrates, if you go through this, your only defense is that you need to be different and know that he is God. <laughs> and I beg you. 
I beg you to get a beautiful room organised now because the army is here in all its many forms. You need your beautiful room. You need to know how to get in his presence because it's going to be you, you will not have any other companion. Jesus said, I'm leaving, but it's better that I leave so he can send his Holy Spirit. So please, Lord, I ask, Lord, now, <laughs> please bless everyone with the presence of, of your Holy Spirit. Let them know that they're not alone. Because you will suffer in this world and you will be persecuted and there is a huntress. <laughs>